Hey, what's up everybody? Bionic Asai here, and welcome back to another Bionic Bootleg Review. Today, we're going to look at the Infinity War Iron Spider. So, I'm not going to go into too much detail with this Iron Spider figure. I've pretty much owned and reviewed this exact same figure beforehand. So I'm going to show you just the, the unique pieces, a quick little rundown of the build, not really going to focus on the articulation, and then uh, that's pretty much going to be it. So let's get right into it. For the new pieces, we have the uh, red brain stock, which we've had in the previous two videos as well, Groot and uh, Black Panther, which is really nice to have. I very much enjoy having this, and now I've got four of them total, which is super cool. Got this Spider-Man mask which uh, is pretty cool for comparison this is the iron spider one from the, my first iron spider one and then this is the the new one and then we've got some dark blue shells dark blue five long which i believe is new and a dark blue six long which i also believe is new so that's cool uh, compared to some official dark blue it's pretty much the same as the thanos dark blue it's just maybe maybe slightly like a deeper blue here and then the, uh, the official is more kind of like a greenish dark blue but otherwise not noticeable at all really we got two shoulder pads which look freaking amazing so cool this design is just oh, super freaking cool uh, I don't know what I would use it for, but man, it's just so cool. I gotta find some use for it. I love it. I would love to use this as like a helmet because that looks like a visor and then you've got like kind of like a Power Ranger helmet or something like that. It looks really cool. But since there's two of them, I don't know. I would want to use them both. Um, I wouldn't want to just have one not used. So we'll see. But it's got that same texturing, uh, kind of like what Black Panther had, but uh, smaller. And then the shins have also that same texturing they also have spider-man web lines everywhere and some gold on the knee pads and then the chest plate is also really cool it's a, a dark blue chest plate with red printing and it's got that same texture all over the front uh down here even when there's nothing down here that's got that up here all the way up and it goes around and it's just really well done really solid even better than a lot of the actual star wars torsos because they would never print on these areas so it's just so so well done so very cool and they even printed around the belt and did like a little bit extra here and then they did the red up here it's just man so much effort went into this it's so well done i like it a lot for a knockoff it's just impressive so on to spider-man himself uh i don't like his leg design at all i think it's really awkward how he's got the longest uh leg bone size or just the longest bone size uh with an open ball joint at the end he's got the uh uniter torso which gives him the uh uniter function his hips are a little loose uniter function where he can swing around so that's kind of kind of neat except the the way they design it is really awkward looking he's very top heavy uh because he's got these spindly spindly little legs and then a big old bulky body uh so the the torso is kind of grossly designed it's very empty there's barely anything in there and then he's got this assembly for the legs like i said i've reviewed this figure pretty much before uh just this is just a different colored version uh the uh, arms are uh, awkward because uh, it's all the way up here Definitely could use some work to be made into a really good Iron Spider figure. You could definitely make it a really good Iron Spider figure, especially if you have that Thanos figure with the uh, dark blue Star Wars thigh armor, which would help a lot. And then uh, probably uh, another Spider-Man, normal Spider-Man knockoff with this kind of mask, but all the web lines so it could match uh, and uh, look a little bit better, I think. So, all in all, what do I think of the Iron Spider-Man from Infinity War? Uh, I think he's one of the more awkward of this wave of five figures that I got. Not as awkward as Thanos, but still quite awkward. I think there are some things on Thanos that I like a little bit better than this guy. But all in all, he's, I think, a little bit more well put together than Thanos. But the fact that he uses this older design for the Iron Spider figure just really wasn't a good choice. Uh... The, the 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 designers of these knockoffs have clearly been improving a lot in their designing ability but i don't think it was a good idea to go back to an older design 
for this. I think they should have just redone it uh, from the ground up. It is what it is. I am uh, happy to have all these really cool recolors and printed pieces and all that. So that's neat. And uh, yeah, so thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you think of Iron Spider in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time when I review Deadpool.